Hello everyone and welcome back to Solar System Tourism and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul where I send my Twitch livestream audience to their preferred destination providing that they pay with the in-stream currency struts which they earn by watching. We begin with the pair here which is trying to rendezvous with Lunar Gateway in order to pick up Make 1B for a trip to Mars but the pair is just supposed to get Make 1B to low Earth orbit and I ultimately decide that that's not the best arrangement. It would be better just to send Make 1B out to Mars from lunar orbit. And to that end, I launch a vehicle to get Make 1B to Mars. The pair can't get Make 1B make to Mars because it only has about 14 days worth of food, water, and oxygen. So this is a launch of a SRB boosted Saturn V rocket, and it's carrying a Lynx spacecraft with a substantial amount of food and then a propulsion unit, and we'll take a look at that once the fairings separate. But here first go the boosters. And then we will have first stage separation. But yes, there is something interesting about this particular arrangement with the Lynx spacecraft this time. You may note some curious propellants in the list of resources. As the second stage ignites, there's uh, five J2S's there and fairing seps. So there it is. Not a whole lot of room for Make 1B, uh, but it should work, I guess. As we get to orbit here, the next stage will boost it over to the moon. And then after Make 1B boards the pair, the pair will rendezvous with this around the moon, was the goal here. So we have six engines at the bottom, and they are what I call the Raidernik Special. There's uh, RD-502, which normally would use pentaborin in HTP, uh, converted to use beryllium, lithium, liquid fluorine, pentaborin, and liquid ammonia. Basically, the beryllium and lithium are mixed in with the fluorine to stabilize it or something. Uh, but yeah, it's an interesting propellant combination, as we see here the pair rendezvousing with the Lunar Gateway plus a starship, Lunar Starship there. And docking is always a pain in the rear end, but w given that it was a pain because of the C CX Aerospace docking ports, I should have paid more attention to that, as we will soon see. But anyway, I transfer Make 1B over along with some resources, get this into orbit. You notice the green plume because of the pentaborane. Now, downside to these engines is they only have five ignitions, so that's why I'm only using two to capture into orbit to save ignitions on the other engines. And uh, upside is that the propellant is relatively dense, unlike hydrogen and oxygen, and it gets an efficiency of about 404 seconds high speed. Not as good as hydrogen and oxygen, but once you factor in the fact that the tanks are smaller, it, it helps. And it's somewhat more storable on a long trip to Mars, so there's that too. So here we are rendezvousing the pair with the links and the issue here is that the docking ports don't match <laughs> they're not the same docking port uh, they're named the same they're both called nasa docking system in the list but they're not the same form factor and so they don't dock with each other so we've got a problem that we need to fix here and we also have more tourists so i have this uh docking module that i decide that would be attached to the lunar gateway and so that we have no more hassle, I used the uh, Attila thruster as a basis for it. So we had previously used that for Mercury. It's got the specific impulse of an ion engine, but more thrust. So it's an augmented arc jet. And it gives us a lot of delta V, so I can hurry things up. European Scout wanted to go, I think, to Lunar Gateway. Uh, to the moon, so we're gonna send lunar, uh, send European Scout over to the moon. We also have to pick up a Kerbal from Skylab. It's all very complicated. We have to shuffle a lot of tourists around, but ultimately the goal is to get Make One B from the pair into the the Lynx spacecraft, so that Make One B can transfer over to Mars. I think that's Mario also wanted to go to Mars, so we'll have that happen. Okay, so the problem here is we've got this nuclear stage that we don't need. <laughs> um, there's this, it's a Timberwind, and it's got 750 kilonewtons, but it takes too long to burn because we had it on the 
S2 tank. And because it takes so long to burn, it's not really useful for getting this to orbit. And really, the stage was not necessary to begin with. Uh, it was com It's a completely useless stage in this case. Because we're just trying to get to low Earth orbit, and it's a transfer stage for higher orbits. So, we, we should have just left off that stage. And so, European Scout bites dust, but it's alright. It's sandbox, and we will revert. Our, or European Scout could reincarnate either way. So we leave off that Timberwind stage and instead put boosters. We did not have boosters originally. The thing is, the Attila stage is really too heavy for this purpose. I had put basically the same Attila stage that I had on the Mercury mission, but we're, we don't need that kind of Delta V. Probably should have just resized it so it was smaller. Would have been better overall. But anyway, that's what we have, and we'll make as much use of it as possible, but it is overdoing it for this purpose. There goes the first stage, and this time the second stage will have enough to get us to orbit. I forget whether I resized anything up top, it doesn't look like the Attila stage was substantially resized. All we're carrying is this, this docking module, so it's not especially burdensome, <laughs> but you can see the mass of the Attila stage is really tremendous. Also, its delta-v is tremendous, and they can surely get us to orbit here and do the rendezvous first with Skylab. We are picking up some Kerbals off of Skylab, and then we'll proceed further. So we need to move some tourists who have paid for more impressive destinations. And first I have to clear this docking port. Uh, this uh, Lynx spacecraft is no longer necessary, doesn't have any body on board. I guess it was an escape craft, if you will. But we'll deal with that later. And that is the docking port that I want to use for this. Now, this docking module is supposed to eventually go to Lunar Gateway, not here. Though, Skylab could probably use uh, another docking module as well. A node, if you will, like Unity. Actually, it's already got a Unity, it could just use another one. Uh, but anyway, we transfer to Kerbals. So, all in all, we have... Who on board? European Scout and Nesmeria are on board now. And we will bring them over to the moon. Very important to control from the right port. The RCS isn't quite balanced, so it's a little bit dodgy, but seems to be clearing Skylab 2 all right. And the transfer burn is more than usual for the moon. Normally it'd be 3,100, but we're trying to get there fast. So I pour on the Delta V, and it's got to cost quite a lot more. And obviously we have the Delta V to use, and that will get us there much faster. But the downside to getting there very fast is that it takes a lot of Delta V to slow down. And that's that's the flip side to this, and that is what we're doing here. And then we rendezvous with our first target, which is the pair. You can see I'm, I'm just wantonly using all this Delta V all over the place. So the pair approaches with its uniquely bulbous shape and here we are with docking you can see make one be on the pair all right now we have to get the link spacecraft to dock onto the other side and that takes a lot of doing because the rcs thrusters are not really perfectly balanced that we've got all this mass in the tanks at the bottom there, so the RCS thrusters aren't really in the best of places. But we managed to do it eventually. It took a few minutes actually, and a lot of backing away and realigning. But now we have Make 1B and Nesmeria going to Mars on this vehicle. And I decide the best thing to do is to get back into Earth orbit first and then exit out. Uh, going directly from the moon turned out to be not the most efficient thing. And so here we are exiting lunar orbit, and it turned out that the path out was directly in line, well not directly in line, sort of in line with the docking module plus the Attila thruster module, and but it's just enough that we would clear it. 
a little bit risky. Definitely, definitely dodgy. Uh, there it goes. The pair is still there. So, okay, make one B and that's Maria leaving lunar orbit. And then we arrange for the burn in Earth orbit. And that actually requires us to sl swing by Earth periapsis, which is just barely above the atmosphere. You can see the periapsis there, 141 kilometers. So, yeah. We cut it close there, as close as possible, and then we're exiting out here because that happened to be the right position to get the transfer over to Mars. And there we have 2,800-ish in order to get into orbit around Mars, so hopefully there's not going to be any crazy boil off or anything. Uh, I've put all the MLI layers, we'll see what happens. So they're on their way, they have supplies. And actually, I think they wanted to go to Phobos. At least I definitely lined up with Phobos and got an encounter there. I doubt that encounter is going to work out, though. We probably do need to capture first and then encounter Phobos separately. I had previously left these Kerbals in orbit, just lingering. These aren't tourists. They're just the random Kerbals. Uh, but yeah, we needed to bring them back because they were running out of supplies otherwise. So that was easy to do. The Lynx spacecraft is very reliable for this purpose. Oh, by the way, some people might wonder why we couldn't just EVA make 1B from the pair to the Lynx spacecraft. While the Lynx spacecraft does have an EVA hatch, the pair does not. The pair does not have any EVA capability. So that is why we did not do that. Recovery vessel. There we go. All right. Speaking of the pair, it departs this module and eventually we will bring that docking module over to the Lunar Gateway, but we did not do that during the stream. I do set it up, that is what the burn here is for. So we're adjusting our orbit so that we can rendezvous with Lunar Gateway, but that and European Scouts arrival at Lunar Gateway will have to wait for the next video. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.